Welcome back to another video. How are you doing? I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm back with another try on haul and this time with a brand called City Chic. Once again, I've never tried this brand before so let's get into the video. The first piece is this dress that I'm wearing right now. It's kind of like a halter top maxi dress. It has slit on the left, on my left side. <laughs> Okay, just kidding. It has a slit on both sides, so good to know. I really love the print of this dress, although I have to say that I'm not the most patient person when it comes to dressing up and having to put clothes on. So this one in particular was a little bit difficult for me to maneuver just because I'll show you the back. There are strings that need to be taken care of. It's not one of those dresses where you just put it on and you're ready to go. It's like, nope, I have to figure out <laughs> where these strings go and all that stuff. Other than that, I really do like it. Very nice and flowy. Perfect for vacation or the beach. I got this one in an XL. And what I found with the brand City Chic is that their clothes run pretty big. So it's not like a junior plus size, it's a plus size plus size. So just make sure you're aware of that. I'm 5'2", so I probably will wear this with a little bit of a heel to make it not touch the ground so much. I hope you're traveling with someone who's patient enough to help you with these strings because, girl, by the time I have this dress on, if I had to do it myself, I'd be like, okay, I'm not leaving, I'm staying here. I apologize again that you can probably hear the fan in the background. Like I said, summer's coming. It's hot. Please just ignore the sound. Thank you. And then I put these earrings on just for a little pop of color. Definitely taking it and actually gonna wear it on my next trip. Next up we have this dress. I don't know how you call it, like a <laughs> longer in the very middle and it's also the same at the back. I don't know what you call it, someone help me. I live for basically anything that's blue or purple or turquoise. <sighs> that's my jam, those are my colors. I paired it with these gold earrings. It has like a slight ruching, but personally, once again, I would put a belt. That's just me, do what you want. I wanted to quickly show you how it looks like with a belt on. This helps um, make the dress a little bit shorter so it doesn't rag on the ground because, like I said, <laughs> I'm 5'2". I'm short, so. So next we have this piece right here, this dress inside, and this to put on top. I'll show you both of them together, but I wanted to tell you how <laughs> I did it the Sarah way where these two actually came um, attached to one another, and yes, that's right, you guessed. That annoyed the heck out of me, because it was much harder to put on. I cut them off. So now they're two separate pieces, which is amazing, so much easier. So don't be afraid to do that, just of course, um, assess the situation. There's gonna be another dress in this haul where it also has a dress underneath and I also cut it from the dress because I don't have time for that. It's actually really cute on its own. And as you can see, I've paired it with some black heels, black pumps, I don't know what you call it. I'm not that girly, just pretending. <laughs> I love this so much. That's also why I seem taller on camera at the moment because I'm in heels and I'm dying. So I'm gonna go take them off now. But now I'm back with the second part, but yeah, this was the one I was wearing just now, and this is what goes on top. As you can see, it's a long, <laughs> flowy-sleeved 
tropical, of course, another tropical dress. Yeah, this is how it looks like. It's longer on the sides and shorter right where you can see my legs in the middle. Yeah, this is the dress. I ordered mostly all the dresses in XL, including this one, and I kind of feel like I could have sized down maybe one size. Just I haven't actually taken any photos in this dress, so I'm very excited. This swimsuit right here, I have to say I'm obsessed with it. It's stripy and all sorts of cute. I'm very well supported. This one actually trumps the other bathing suit that I was talking about in my first haul. It has a very nice wire down here it has a very flattering um stripe pattern on the sides over here it is a little bit big on me so i did get the suit in a size xl and even then it is still a little bit big for me in the cup area but other than that it fits me really well i love it so much and i actually did bring this suit with me to the Philippines and I got a lot of use out of it and a lot of compliments on it so good choice. This is how I would style it. Yeah. I am really impressed by their bathing suits even if it is a little bit bigger in the cup than I would like it to be. This is the next piece I wanted to show you and at the bottom it has like sort of like a mermaid style yeah it's a fun little piece we're invited to a bunch of weddings this would be a good piece to wear to those kind of events it has long sleeve not like all the way to your wrist or my wrist but almost and it's beautiful this is actually in a 3x i believe just because i know that Clothing pieces that are lace tend to run smaller, so I sized up. I really like this. I think it's very flattering. It's cinched in the waist over here. It has some sort of like wiring over here in this area, so it gives you some lift and support. I can't say enough good things about this dress because it's beautiful and I love it. As you can tell, um, kind of like an off the shoulder as well. Okay, that's not attractive, hello. Go there, thank you. Um, so it's an off the shoulder dress as well. It is a little bit big on me, but I'd rather it be a little bigger than too small, so. This is the dress. Oh yeah, I actually forgot to mention that like the other dress, the green one, it is actually a wrap dress. So you could tie it like that and weave the string long like this, or you could do a bow like I did with the other dress. Same dress, except in the blue version, and I love this one as well. For the last piece, as you can see, it's the same print as the other dress that was slightly hard to put on, whereas this was super easy. Just put it on and you're ready to go. There's ruffly things over here, sleeveless on this side, cold shoulder. And yeah, it's a very cute top. My thoughts on City Chic. Actually, you know what? I've had these clothes for a while. I got them in before my trip to the Philippines last March, and I've had a real chance to um, wear it while on vacation and while at the beach. I'm really happy with the quality of the clothes. It's a little bit more on the pricier side, so always be sure to check the sale section because they're always having sales literally all the time, so. That's my section right there. You could tell by the material that they use that it's really good quality. I'm very happy with the pieces that I got from there. I give City Chic a thumbs up. Been quite a while since I got the pieces, so I'm not sure if everything's still gonna be there, but I'll try my best to find everything that I can and link them down below. So you've made it to the end of this video, and I wanna say thank you so much for the continued support and the love on my last try on haul the very first one that I did so this would be my second one I'm really excited to bring more content onto this channel 
and share more of my life with you so you can get to know more of me and I can get to know you guys a little bit better as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave me a comment down below if you have any suggestions of what other brands I should try. So I would love to know. Also, you could give me suggestions on what kind of um, videos you would want to see on this channel. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below. I know you're going to love the rest of the videos that I'm planning to share on this channel. As well as click the notification bell to be informed when I upload videos. <laughs>